Danny? Well, there's a growing list of parents trying to just get assistance with child care. A state-funded program that hands out scholarships to families in need has a backlog dating back months. KPRC2's Real Juan Belogan explains this comes from a report and it suggests more people are quitting their jobs to avoid paying child care costs. The report takes a look at the census data and founds that the annual average cost for child care in Texas is a little more than $8,000 with the growing burden for working and parents. Naomi Fletcher is expecting twins, which will make her family of three into five. One of the first things she and her husband started talking about was child care and how they'd afford it. We're looking at $3,000 to $4,000 a month to have all three of our children in a child care program. And so for us, that just wasn't sustainable. That's about a third of our income. It's almost double what we pay for our mortgage. To avoid the daunting cost, her mom is retiring early and moving from Colorado to take care of her grandchildren and ease the burden on Fletcher. Fletcher's family isn't alone. According to the Annie E. Casey Foundation, 12% of Texans had to adjust their jobs to afford child care. The state-funded program Workforce Solutions that helps families afford child care dealing with the major backlog. There is always more demand that there, than there is funding available. Michelle Castro is a senior manager at Workforce Solutions. She attributes the backlog to a number of factors, including pandemic disruptions and inflation. Castro adds the organization is addressing the backlog by improving technology with automation and hiring 35 full-time employees. Hopefully we are, uh, again, coming on the uh, tail end of those disruptions and working towards really making everything faster and more efficient. Harris County leaders announced a new program, Early Reach, with hopes of easing the burden of child care costs. In the third ward, Roman Belogan, KPRC, 2 News.